Hi, everybody. Happy Welcome. Friday. Welcome to Ozarks Live. Good That's to have you with us. It's Friday. It is Friday. That's a good thing. All day long. Hey, can I show you something real quick? Uh, the big AFC playoff game Sunday. Sunday. Pretty sure that this is going to cinch it for the Chiefs. I want you guys to see my necklace. Can you see this? We're going to try to get a close-up. Okay, where'd Look you get that? Look at that. It's from the Copper Coin down in Branson. Oh, You know, they've been oh, on the show several times. Yeah, wonderful lady. There. Yeah, so you snap these little doodads in and out. I think I can see it. Take it off, put it on. I can be a Chiefs fan. I can be a Razorbacks fan. I can be a Bears fan. Yeah. This is good. I know. Anyway, so just say it. I think this is going to do it. I've been wearing it all season long, either the bracelet or the yep. necklace. So Pretty good. Go You're Chiefs. the reason. I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty that sure is. I'm the reason. Pat yeah. Mahomes probably has something to do with how it's, it's but a I'm lot. Sure it's me. You've had a bit of a trying day. <laughs> Yeah. You didn't want I, me to bring it up. I, no. I thought it was two Mondays today. I went shopping for some ingredients today, and as I'm getting in my car, the bag falls. And, of course, what's there? A puddle of water. So first thing, boom, bag falls is in a puddle of water. Then I went to McDonald's to pick up some breakfast. I'm paying. My wallet falls off my knee. It falls in between the seat and the door. Which of is course, an abyss. A little it's, bit. Yes, yeah. yeah. So I open the door just a little bit. What happens? My wallet falls out <laughs> into a puddle. So now I'm at the McDonald's drive-thru, and that means between your door and the wall is about like that far. So I'm yeah. out, and I yeah. reach down, I reach down, and I just touch the wallet, and it turns over <laughs> on the ground. So now I've got to move my head around the stair, reaching to because I couldn't move the car forward because the person behind me would pull forward, probably run over the wallet. I finally got the wallet. I felt as though I had been to the gym for three yeah, hours. Yeah, got your workout beaten in. beaten up by someone. And so, yeah, it was like two Mondays all rolled into one Friday to begin the day today. First world problems. I'm so sorry. Yeah. It happens. You will overcome this. But the reason he went shopping is because we were talking about the instant pot. Yeah. It's not an Insta pot. It's an instant pot. We're going to put it to good use today because the game's coming up and we need some nice warm comfort food to go with it. So Tom was shopping for a recipe that we're right. going to do live here on the show today. And please remember we're both amateurs at this. Okay. We really don't know how to <laughs> use this thing. I'm sorry in advance. <laughs> the last yeah. day of the Les Mis giveaway. If you would like to win two VIP tickets to a performance of Les Miserables on July, it's July, July, January 21st, yeah, it's not that far out yet, at Juanita K. Hammond's Hall for the Performing Arts, you need to enter online on our website. Okay, yeah, and there's more. You'll also receive a swag bag just crammed full of all kinds of really cool stuff from the show. That show, by the way, on the 21st starts at 730. That's the show you're going to win tickets for if you're the lucky one. So go to OzarksFirst.com slash contest for a chance to win the amazing Les Miserables VIP gift package. It's great a great show. show. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. It is. Mm -hmm. Now we have another great show on tap today. We'll introduce you to the 417 foodist. Now, that's going to be fun. Yep, he's right. right here in the studio. Also, as we were talking about a little bit earlier, Joy and I will put an instant, instant pot to the test for a family favorite. Those and lots more are ahead. But first, we get to all that. You know, before there, well, here's what's on the radar. Okay, here's what's on my radar. We left Las Vegas a little bit early. Yeah. Last week we were at CES 2020, Consumer Electronics Show, yeah. and as I was packing to go to the airport, what did I hear on TV? Um, first of all, did you know Las Vegas is a hot spot for snow skiing? No. I had no idea until I was leaving for the airport. It's gotten even better with the grand opening of this, a new ski lodge at Lee Canyon. Okay, this is a wow. 10,000 square foot lodge. Take a look at these pictures. It looks pretty fabulous. The Hillside Lodge has a heated terrace, patio dining, a ski-in, ski-out bar, huh. a ton of great food. It also has meeting and event space. It's a great place for families. Best of all, it's only about an hour drive from downtown Las Vegas. I had absolutely no idea. I, didn't, I mean, they have mountains. You I can see the mountains and they, you can see the snow. I just um, never knew that either. This thing offers a breathtaking view of Spring Mountains and the big grand opening Apparently, it was a party not to be missed, and of course, we missed it by only hours because we left town. Uh, the folks at Lee Canyon anticipate the winter season running through March. So, I don't know, maybe spring break. I don't know that they're going to have a DJ every time you go there, but... 
Uh, skiing for me would be very much like a roll of the dice, so it, it probably fits. I could always sit in the ski lodge and have a cocktail and some food, though. You mm -hmm. don't have to ski. That's true. But wouldn't that be an, an alternative thing to do in the winter I for... it would be a great idea. Yeah. Maybe Terrific. next year. Yeah. Good stuff. All right. <laughs> Are we, are we going to talk sure about something new? On. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Divorce. That's what we're going to talk about. Oh, that's about. what we're going to talk it, about. It that threw course, you off. I get yeah, it. Yeah, be messy with people arguing about who gets what and who's going to pay for this and that. Well, exactly. there's one guy, we'll call him Dave. Okay. All right. Who wants to cut the chase with what might be a winner take all scenario? Oh, you told me about this. Yeah. Dave, who says he's been destroyed legally, has asked an Iowa judge to grant him a trial by combat so he can settle things with, you know, by sword fight with the ex-Mrs. Dave and her attorney. He asked the Iowa District Court to give him 12 weeks to find a katana and wakasashi sword to prepare for battle. According to court records, he argued trial by combat has never been explicitly banned or restricted as a right in these United States. Of course, Ex-Mrs. Dave's attorney argued because a duel could end in death and such, <laughs> ramifications likely outweigh those of property tax and custody issues. Yeah. And he also asked the court to suspend Dave's visitation rights and undergo a court-ordered psychological evaluation. Yeah, you think? Either way it goes. <laughs> This will be one to watch. Chalk one up to Mrs. Dave in the custody uh, department. The judge is like, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to go real quickly. Yeah. And Not there was the also idea. the idea of just because it hasn't mentioned it doesn't mean a court can say, can't say, <laughs> no. <laughs> so. All right. Got one other thing for you uh, that was... It's something new in Las Vegas. I'm all about Las Vegas, even though it's been a week. I keep learning about things I didn't do. Uh, you can... Call Uber, go on to Uber to find a bus to ride around in. A bus? Yeah, yeah. It's called Uber Transit. It's not Uber's bus. It's the public transit system. But you can use your Uber app to buy a ticket for the city buses, which oh, I think okay. is really cool. Uber is doing the same thing in Denver. In fact, it just... It started Denver first, and then it rolled this out for CES 2020 last week. And I heard people talking about it, but I never did do it. Now, according to an article in The Verge, it's the ride-hailing giant's quest to become the de facto smartphone app for all modes of transportation. Mm. I totally get that. Very smart on their part, yeah. indeed. Now, you can use this, for example, to get a ride from the airport to your hotel, the Strip, wherever. Your phone is scanned on board, and off you go. In fact, your ride tickets are still available when you are offline. So that's nice. Okay. Um, expect to see this in other cities soon as well. I guess I didn't see it because I lifted. I used Lyft when I went yeah. around town. And we had shuttles mainly right, right, from right. our hotels. So it's not going to come to your front door. You still have to go to the bus stop, but you just walk on it. But you, these. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can get to it in Vegas and in Denver using your okay. Uber app and other cities coming up soon, which I think is really going to be like handy. A good idea. So just so you know. All right. Coming up. Billy? Come on, Come on over. over. We're going to move over. The 417 Foodist is here. We'll learn all about him, and he'll share some of his favorite pizza finds, some you may not have heard of. Yep, don't go away. Ozark's Live is just getting started. Good to have you.